So by the time this video goes live, I'll be en route to the Lofoten Islands in Norway for a workshop, which I'm, I'm super excited about as I, I really haven't been able to do much in the way of winter photography at all this year. And Norway is sure to solve that and deliver. And the topic of air travel with photography gear is it's something that comes up rather frequently as commercial air travel, especially lately, has become a stressful source of anxiety for many myself included and add expensive camera gear into the mix well that's a complete recipe for uh insurmountable concern and anyone who has ever flown to a destination where photography was the main purpose will 100 be able to relate to everything in this week's episode so over the course of the past eight years just about every flight i've taken has resulted in me attempting a, a slightly different approach to the the way that i handle getting my camera gear from point a to point b in the safest possible manner and after many tweaks and trials, I finally got a system in place now that, that has worked very well for me. And, and what I mean by works well is that this system creates as stress-free of an environment as humanly possible. And when it comes to airline travel, that is by far the ultimate goal for myself. So to jump right into it, the easy part, as far as what do you put in your check bag or what do I put in my check bag? That's easy. Obviously you put your clothes and stuff. I'm not gonna go through all that, but the photography stuff that I put in my check bag is, it's really not a whole lot. It's basically my tripod, my filters, and the ball head for my tripod. I used to carry my tripod on the side of my backpack and then put the ball head inside of the, uh, the bag. But now I no longer do that because that just adds a lot of bulk and it makes the overall size of your carry-on substantially larger. So I now check my tripod, I check the, the ball head, and I put the filters. I have a nice protective pouch. I should probably have that up here. But um, maybe I'll overlay some B-roll so you can see that. But a nice protective pouch for all my filters. And then I kind of bury it around the clothes just to keep it safe. But um, that is really, and I guess a headlamp, you know, that's something that is, is kind of photography related. Gloves, those are things that... If for whatever reason my check bag does get lost, those if I lose those things, although losing a tripod would stink, it's not going to completely ruin my trip. I will still be able to move on with my photography without those items. So I put those in my check bag, and that's kind of my thought track is if I do lose this bag, what do I put in here that's not going to completely ruin my trip? So that's just kind of the, the thought track I go through. And then as far as the actual carry-on, I use the uh, the F-Stop Talopa, which is a 50 liter pack. And from my experience, a 50 liter backpack, you're starting to push the coin as far as what can easily fit in an overhead compartment. Now, it depends on the size of the plane, of course. But from my experience, a 40 liter pack, you're gonna be completely fine in most planes. Even with a 50 liter pack, you're gonna be completely fine in most planes, but I have gotten onto some smaller flights that are smaller planes that uh, I have encountered a, a few issues. But my pack is the, the Tolopa 50 liter, and I put all the, the standard camera stuff in there, in my, in my carry-on pack. So these are things like, you know, your camera bodies, your lenses, uh, what else, batteries, because you can't, can't check batteries, you wanna keep those with you. Um, anything related to, to charging. So this little pack right here, and this is kind of part of the system that I go through. It's a, it's all a modular system in case the inevitable happen happens where you are told at the last minute that you have to check your bag. What do you do? So I keep everything in these modular little packs. So this orange one here, this is everything that's related to charging. So Everything in here has to do with either charging my laptop, charging uh, cameras, uh, backup drive, co various cores, charging my iPhone, charging my iWatch. Anything related to charging in electricity is right here and backup. So I know that I can just grab this one pouch and I will have everything that I need. Now, the reason I don't check this is because this is mission critical in my opinion, because if I lose this, I can't use any of my camera gear. Well, I guess I could for a very limited amount of time, but once all the batteries die, I'm not gonna have any way to charge any of that stuff up. So I have to be able to have a functioning phone. I have to have my headphones on a flight. I have to be able to charge my computer, charge cameras. So this has to come with me at all times. Very, very important. This right here is another modular pack. This is for my drone. So I have the, the Mavic 3 Pro right here, which I'm bringing to Norway. And I uh, have everything in this one back. So everything in here is related to the drone, filters, chargers, an extra battery, the controller, all of that is right here. And I keep both of these on the top of my bag and in, in of uh, my Talopa in the top kind of eggshell or 
hard, what do you call it? The brain of the bag at the very, very top. I'll put some B-roll in here so you can see that. But I put those on there and then in the actual camera body or camera uh, area of the bag and in the internal camera unit, the ICU, that's where all the camera bodies, the lenses, everything else goes right in there. So I know we've all been in a situation where you're waiting to board your flight and you're starting to go through your zones. And if you're anything like me, you're always in zone 10 or zone 20, you're always the last to board. And that's always kind of the, the real stressful situation for me is a lot of times when you're in one of those um, higher zone numbers or you're one of the people that gets to board last, a lot of those overhead compartments are already taken up. So when you have a 50 liter pack or a 40 liter pack and you go to, um, and it's finally your time to board, and you go to give your ticket to get on the plane, you're kind of running the, a little a, a risk of them saying, you know, overhead compartments are starting to fill up, your bag isn't gonna fit, we're gonna have to check it here. And that is by far, for a photographer, at least for me personally, I don't wanna speak for anyone else, that is the, 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 the ultimate struggle, that is what uh, keeps me up at night before flights. So what do you do in that scenario? And it has happened to me a couple of times, especially on those smaller flights. So, and what's funny is I, I've gone through this whole like little dance where, you know, as you're approaching the, the, the person who's going to take your ticket, you know, you kind of turn a little bit this way to make the profile of your bag on your back as small as possible. I strap the, the, the I tighten the straps down on the pack as well to try and make it look as small as I possibly can, but kind of turning a little bit to give them the ticket to kind of shield the bag and get on was always something that, um, it usually works pretty well, but every once in a while, They'll say, it's happened to me, I think, three times now. I'm like, sir, we don't have room for your bag. We're going to have to check it. And you immediately just, it's, it's a very nerve-wracking scenario. So what do you do in that situation? So this is kind of the, the, the system that has really worked well for me. So I have my carry-on bag, and that's my camera backpack. But I also have this personal item here. Almost all flights will allow you to carry a, a carry-on bag and a personal item. And this is the perfect size for a personal item. This is from a Fjall Raven. Just got this um, actually for, for Christmas. I was using a an older uh, Think Stop one is my is my personal item, but this is my new one. And it holds my, my laptop, my, uh, my headphones right here, any kind of pens, pencils, but it's also got a pretty large area right here as well. So the beauty of this is so I'm, I'm going to get on my flight. They tell me your bag's too big, Mark. The, the overhead compartments are filling up. You're gonna have to check it. So once I compose myself and pull myself together, I said, okay, Mark, let's solve this problem. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the brain or the top portion of my camera bag, and I'm gonna take these two things out because these cannot be checked. I need these. And the thing about the drone is if I, if I lost the drone, it would not ruin my photography trip. The drone's expensive, so I don't want to lose that. So anyway, I'm going to put this in here. I put this in here, and then I can seal this completely up like this. And this is my personal item. So that problem is solved. So these are in this bag here, and everything is good there. And then what I love about the F-stop bags, and a lot of camera bags have this, where you can take the ICU out of the pack. But what makes F-stops, in my opinion, the best is this. This is an empty one that I have but you pull this out of your camera bag, and just imagine all of this is filled with camera gear. I would just flip this flap over, and then I can zip it up like this, and it's got a strap right here. So now this becomes my carry-on, and this is substantially smaller than the actual backpack. So this becomes my carry-on, and this is now my personal item. And then I can take my empty bag, and they can check that. And that right there has created such peace of mind for me and like i said i've done this i've gone through the same this has happened to me three times now and it has worked flawlessly because this right here they can always find a spot in on the uh, the overhead compartment to fit this in the plane and this is all the expensive camera gear i've got my charging cables i've got my drone and my personal um uh my personal item that goes underneath the seat and everything is still with me the only thing that's not with me now is just the camera bag and everything that's in that camera bag is not gonna be a mission critical type of a thing. Now, the reason why I think F-stops ICUs are the best is because they are, of course, they're very they're hard shelled. It's got a nice um, padded zip top, and it also has the handle here. So it's very simple to take out, and it's just, it's just like having another piece of luggage. Um, Shimoda's, I think, work very well. The only problem I have with Shimoda's is this is the little bag that the ICU goes into, and it's just like a little flimsy bag and you stick the ICU inside of this bag, zip it up, 
and then you have the little handle here. So it's not quite as, uh, as um, I guess, durable or robust of a solution as this is. There's no bag or anything. You have to put this in. This is it right here. So I really like the way this works. So that's kind of the, the, the setup that I go through. And what's really cool too is even if you don't have an issue and you're able to take your bag on your flight and, you, and what's happened to me is I stuffed my bag in the overhead compartment. And this is before I used to carry a personal item. I'd, I'd have everything in that camera bag and I'd just cram it into the, the, uh, the overhead compartment. And then I'm, when I'm on my flight, I don't know, maybe three or four hours into the flight, I wanna get out my computer, I wanna get out my headphones, or I wanna get anything out of that camera bag to, to occupy time while I'm flying. It is such a pain to get that big bag out of the overhead compartment to get anything out of it to you know keep myself entertained on the flight. So having that personal items bag here that has like your laptop, your your uh, your headphones, a book, or you know anything in there, having that with you that you can put underneath the seat is very very nice. So you don't ever have to try and get something out of your you know maxed out camera bag that's stuffed into the overhead compartment. So. That is kind of the, the setup that I go through. It doesn't have to be, you know, this type of a system here. I think what's most important is that you have a personal items bag and everything is modular. So basically all of my important camera gear is in these three modules and being able to access those and quickly get them out and stick what you need to in here and then carry the large ICU with you or bring it onto the plane is that's really it. It's not super, it's not rocket science, but uh, it took a little while to, to kind of come to that conclusion that that is what works best for me. Now, if you ask me in a year, um, am I still doing it? I don't know, but uh, it, lately this is the setup I've gone through and it, and it does work really well. So I hope that that gives someone possibly an idea as to uh, how to get their camera gear from point A to point B in the safest and stress-free um, scenario as possible. If you have any questions about airline travel or, or getting gear here or there, please leave those in the comments section below and I'll do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as possible. If uh, you did enjoy the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And um, next time you are traveling anywhere, I hope you uh, have a great trip, safe travels of course, and I will see you all next Wednesday. Bye.